if you want to see what apps or content extension, those are synonyms, uh, to add to your curator environment, then it's, it's a daunting task. I mean, the app exchange is, is about to become a victim of its own success. You know, how do I look into 220, 244 apps? And probably tomorrow there are going to be more. In fact, I didn't know that there was a UVA 3.8. That's good. But uh, I don't, I'm not going to click into every one of these and view documentation. I don't have time for that. Uh, well, the app exchange, the, the use case manager has something specially that leverage the content of the app exchange. So if I here in the, um, in the use case manager, I'm going to select from the template a subset on the recommended non-install apps. And notice that I'm going to click on the first one on this template. Precisely what I want to know is what apps I have not installed based on the log sources I have today. That's precisely what I want to know. Boom. And, and before I install any one of these things, I, I really want to know, you know, what is it that, that it has, what are the, how the rule works and all that, right? So let's say that I'm interested in expanding my stuff on Office 365, right? Well, let's say that uh, I'm interested in phishing an email content extension. Okay, let me see the rules, haha. And without even having them installed or anything like that, I can click on it and notice that uh, yellow square represents the fact that you, you don't have this installed. But I can click here. And it's in the same way as if I would have it installed, I can immediately look at the test condition and see, hmm, okay, I see how does work. Okay, I see the MITRE attack uh, technique that it actually add. That's actually good. I see the rule action, the rule response. What are the, the details of the rule? Okay, I'm good with that, you know. The rule delimiter, the delimiter rule detail, you know, the log source type. And there's no one in particular for this particular, for, for this uh, package. But, you know, that rule, you say that, that you, you actually want that rule. Then you can actually go in and say, well, let me actually look at the other rules and you can see the similar information graphically here you see the building blocks you can actually see them here um, any custom property there's one and you see it uh, in the actual mm, uh, considering the actual test condition as well and uh, actually that one is not in the test condition because that's that's in the test condition of the building block not of the actual rule that I'm looking at uh, that's actually pretty 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 good. So you can actually close this one and look at uh, understand everyone how every one of the rules uh, apply or work. And then if you want to add this, you don't need to go any further. You click in here and you are gonna be if you have the assistant app, you have the option of clicking here install and boom that that package will be yours it will be in your curator now if you don't have the assistant app you will be sent to the app exchange to download it and install it manually isn't that great i think it is and just as i show in the navigation section you can actually you know group those and this is the, co the configuration of the group yeah show me the number of rules why not and you click here apply and now it's refreshing the screen and here you have that uh, that information in there and you can actually click back in here to do the ungrouping but as remarkable as that one is I think that this one that is equally or even more remarkable let me go back to the navigation and the recommended install this is on use log sources <laughs> and what this one is actually doing is say well I'm gonna give you the content that exists in the app exchange and you'll see that we can actually mix this up with what you have already installed and show you if you bring additional log sources that you don't have today what is it that you can leverage on and boy look at how many items do we have in here so let's say that I know in my company there are they use bit 9 
but I don't have the locks of bit night in my in my curator. What are the benefits? What what do I get if I bring those logs in? Ah, look at that! All the packages that I have. Let's say, for example, on intrusion content. I have five rules, and notice that this thing is group. That's what this thing is highlighted, and when you hover over, this is on group, right? But I can actually click on those intrusion content rules and see them in here. Or let's say that actually I want to see them, I want to analyze every one of those rules and see if I want to add them to my system. If I want to see the details, I can do the own grouping here. No, oh, I didn't didn't mean to customize. I click on this icon instead of the center for ungrouping. So when I do that, this is going to probably grow tremendously. And yeah, I got quite a few and it was intrusion in intrusion content. Right, that one right here. I can actually see my rule here and understand whether this is something that I want to add to my system or not. Very, very powerful. Again, this, this will enable you to justify why should I be bringing additional logs into Curator? What are the benefits? What are the rules? What are the things that I can actually uh, add without creating your own rules? I mean, there's stuff, there's plenty of stuff out there for you to use uh, without you having to uh, go ahead and, and create rules. I'm not going to go into the other recommended one because that's on MITRE. I'm going to have a separate video uh, on MITRE because MITRE is full of, uh, of those things. But again, let me close here. Let me go back to the actual recommended. I really encourage you to play with this one. Again, what I have right now how can I better leverage on the App Exchange? And this one in here. How can I even leverage better my Curator system by bringing additional log sources that I'm not, I know that exist in the company, but I haven't brought them here. So I can actually prioritize which, you know, if I know I need to bring all these additional log sources, which ones I want to bring first? Which are the ones that give me the big benefit? I mean, this is remarkable. Imagine if you were trying to do this manually, it will take you, I don't know, you probably will we will never do it because this stuff is it's, it's, it's impossible to do by hand. But this app, again, is remarkable on, on, on this aspect. I'm going to stop the video here. It's getting a little long. And I'm going to continue on this uh, use case manager version 3 series. This is a remarkable app, I believe.